few weeks ago, I started a new series where I go through all the microphones that I sell on my website each week. So these videos consist of samples, me talking about the mics, and this is week four of that series. If you missed the other videos, go back and watch those. But this week, I have a great lineup, and I can't wait to let you hear them. We're gonna get started. The first microphone of this week was the RCA 44BX. These are giant ribbon mics that were made in the 1950s, and they have a very pronounced proximity effect and low end. So if you're using this on drums, you're gonna get a nice punchy, warm sound. And these are very versatile on other sources as well. Vocals, horns, really anything that you want a natural sound out of, this is gonna be a great option. We're gonna start by listening to it on drums, listen for that warm, punchy effect that this mic offers. Wednesday's microphone was a microphone that many people know and love. It was the Shure SM7. Now this one was made in the late 80s. It was assembled by Shure in Mexico. And if you look at the prices, today's SM7B retails for $400. These Mexico SM7s sell for around $500, and the original USA-made SM7s sell for around $1,000. Now everybody has a different opinion on which one sounds best. I took samples of all three side by side. I'm going to let you decide which one you think sounds best. Friday night's mic and the last mic of this week was the Vitavox Type B50. Now you may look at this and wonder, why are you showcasing this mic? But these really have more history than you think. So if you look back in the 60s at Abbey Road, when the Beatles recorded there, they used these in the control room as the talkback mics. So if you look at any old pictures from that time period, you can see these sitting on the desk, which is pretty cool. So I have this one plugged in, and as you can tell, it sounds super lo-fi but I tracked drum samples and guitar samples with this one just for fun. That's the end of another weekly video. I hope this was helpful to you. You can always go to my website, colpixvintage.com for repair requests, to buy these mics, any questions you have, I'm always here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.